Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for interior design tips and inspiration. Today we're gonna discuss something that I feel like gets overlooked all the time, especially if you don't work with an interior designer when it comes to your home. I feel like this element gets overlooked often because people don't feel like it's very important. They don't think that it really has a big effect on their space and it's an easy place to save money. But I'm here to tell you why I think that you need to consider what you do to your ceilings and to make that a part of your design decisions. I believe that ceilings can really make or break a space and so let's talk about it. I think that taking into account your ceilings should be throughout the entire design process. I think that you should try to do some things to bring more attention to your ceiling. If you go into a home and they don't have anything really special about their ceilings, like the ceiling behind me right here, it, there's nothing really special about it. It's a high ceiling, which is really nice. That is one thing that is good to consider is the height of your ceilings. And I guess it has a little bit of detail because it has kind of this angular effect here, which is also cool and gives a little bit more characteristic than just having a flat ceiling. I think it's really common for most houses to have a white ceiling and maybe there's some texture, maybe there's not, it kind of depends when the house is built. But I think that adding some detail to your ceilings is a game changer. Now this is coming from someone who is extremely short. I'm only 5'1", but I notice ceiling detail right off the bat. Arguably, maybe that's because I'm a designer, I don't know, but I feel like even when I was a kid, I loved looking up into different spaces. Usually commercial spaces is where I notice ceiling details, but I think that the ceiling impacts a lot more than what people realize. A little design psychology background about ceilings. Ceilings can make us feel and behave differently. So a lot of times when you have a taller ceiling, then it's kind of a signal for a more formal event. Like if you think about going to like a really fancy formal dinner event, usually there's gonna be high ceilings. If you go to any sort of event, really, if you go to an event space, a lot of time there are high ceilings. When we realize that we're in a formal setting, then oftentimes we kind of behave differently. So we'll look towards others to like make sure that we're in line, like, ooh, did I dress up enough? Or is this behavior appropriate? We kind of look towards others to see how to behave. Whereas with lower ceilings, we kind of feel a little bit more cozy. We kind of feel more intimate. It's a different vibe than those tall ceilings. A lot of the time when we see high ceilings, we think that there is more light in the space because usually that means more windows and a kind of a bigger space to fill. This is why a lot of people love open floor plans with tall ceilings because it kind of gives that grand, formal, luxurious feel to it and why maybe if you live in a house with short ceilings right now, why it, maybe it doesn't feel as luxurious, it doesn't feel quite as expensive, or maybe it just kind of gives us like dingier, kind of like more cramped feeling because it feels like there's a lack of space. So when you're in a really tall space or even a short space, you take notice. It's not very hard to feel the difference between like an eight foot ceiling versus like 10 or 12 or a really tall ceiling. I think that we do notice that ceilings make a difference. We just don't usually put in the time and effort to kind of make them a focal point in our design. One way to kind of bring attention to your ceilings, right now it's really big to have a wallpaper in your space. And there's been some designers that have taken that and have wallpapered ceilings. I think that this is a really fun and playful way to bring attention to your ceilings and kind of make it a focal point. I wouldn't necessarily suggest this in every single room. It's not something that I would suggest doing throughout an entire open floor plan, but it's a really fun design element that you could do in a bathroom, in a kid's room. I would just be very strategic and not do it like throughout your whole house. But I think this is a fun way to definitely bring the eye up. It's going to be something that maybe people won't no notice like that. But when they do notice, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so fun. It's a really fun way to spice up a space. If you are not a huge wallpaper fan, there's so many other ways that you can add a ceiling details to kind of make your space feel a little bit more custom, more luxurious, more expensive. You could definitely do some sort of like board and batten type thing where it could be stained or painted. 
and I think this is a really beautiful way to draw attention upwards. It doesn't necessarily have to be very bright and in your face, but it kind of just gives some additional texture that your ceiling might not currently have. Paneling is another great way to do this. I love this. I love beams. Those are different wood elements that you can add into your space. You can do like really traditional type beams where you have like a few just going across. I love different beams that kind of like crisscross and have a really angular and almost a more traditional vibe to it. I think it's beautiful. If you want to kind of change up the fill of your space, whether you want to make it lighter or brighter, then definitely just even changing the color of your ceiling can be a huge difference to your space. Let's say in your master bedroom, you kind of want more of a cozy, intimate, kind of um, moody vibe. You can easily accomplish this by doing a darker ceiling color. This will often make the ceiling feel a little bit lower, which I know not everyone wants currently, but I certainly love kind of like that intimate, cozy, um, like bundled up feeling when there's dark colors then it kind of like helps enclose a space. So if you kind of like that feeling of just being like, in a womb almost, then I think painting your ceiling a darker color will definitely give you that vibe and it is going to make a world of a difference and give you a totally, totally different feel to your room. Let's say you're in a house that has like an open floor plan and it feels kind of small and cramped for all of these different rooms and you want it to feel a little more spacious, you can definitely paint your ceiling a white color or a brighter color to make it feel a little bit grander. But a tip that I could give you about paint right now, which I think that this is really fun and kind of more of a modern take on paint than what we've seen in the past, is if you continue the same color from floor to ceiling, it's going to make your space feel a lot bigger because you have a continuous color, a continuous line. Like right now behind me, you can see we have white baseboards and then we have kind of like a light medium tone on the walls and then the white ceiling. So as you can see, it kind of chunks up like here's a line, here's a line, and then a line here. Whereas if you have everything the same color, you can do different finishes. I would suggest doing different finishes depending on where you're painting. But if you continue that same color throughout that whole wall, ceiling, baseboards, everything, then it kind of helps to trick the eye to make it feel actually bigger than it is because you're not taking in different chunks and sections. You're just seeing a continuous line. And so your eye just naturally like goes up and down very easily instead of like focus on a section, focus on a section, focus on a section if that makes any sense. So those are some reasons and some ways that you can create a little more interest into your ceiling and why I think that ceiling detail makes a huge difference in a house. If you want to just spice up your space a little bit, I definitely would suggest thinking about these different options. I love ceiling details so, so much and I think that it really elevates your space. So I hope you consider doing something fun to your ceilings. Whatever that may look like, I think that it will transform your space. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you have some new inspiration for how to decorate your ceilings. Thank you for joining me for interior design tips and inspiration. And I hope to catch you next time. Thank you so much.